Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. So for today's video, we will study how to start a new project. So the most common workflow in Revit is that we will receive some information like architecture plans and elevations and structural plans, sometimes in PDF and sometimes in AutoCAD. So we're lucky if we have the AutoCAD files, but if not, we just need to manage to work from the PDF that we will convert into the AutoCAD files and then we will scale it. But it, it is very fortunate if you have the AutoCAD file that are coming from the designers or the consultants. And then we will start our model from there. So most of the time, AutoCAD file looks like this. So we all have the information in one single file. We, all, we have the floor plans, elevation, and sections together. As well as for the structural plans, we will have the plans and all the details and all the schedules in one single file. But given this all information, we don't need it all in our Revit model. Most likely, what we need are the floor plans. So what we need to do is to have a cleanup and to set up a proper origin for our AutoCAD file to be inserted in our Revit model. So I repeat, we don't need all the information. We don't have to insert all of this, all of this information, but only the floor plans. Or sometimes we need the elevations as well. So what we need to do is to clean up the file and save us in an individual CAD file. So individual CAD file with a proper origin or with a common origin every single file so one file for first story with a proper origin like for this example I already set up the origin right at the upper left hand corner of the the boundary line and also as you can see on the second story we also have the boundary line under or at the left hand side of the boundary line so we must do our cleanup for this project and before inserting in our Revit files. So I will do uh, I will create another video for the AutoCAD cleanup. For now, we will do this uh, two single file first, and then we will insert this CAD file in our Revit model. Now that we we've done our preparation for our Revit project we can create our new Revit project using our default template or if you have your company template you may use it for your new project so for this one we will just need to click our architectural template and we'll just have to wait for a moment there you go so here in our project by default depending on the template that you are using you were you are given of two level which is for this case in my template it is level 0 and level 1 later we will rename it for our own use of our uh, view namings and level namings so for this instance we may we will need our AutoCAD file inserted in our project so for us to do that we need to go first to our site development plan or site view so in the site view we will find the two symbol at the middle which are called project base point and when I click the tab this is the survey point this is the origin of these are the origin of Revit Revit doesn't have the X, Y, Z coordinates like AutoCAD uh, in Revit it is more of the northings, eastings and elevations so this will be your project origin so before anything else we must save our project first so before I asked you to create this Revit, this Revit Central folder, Revit Local, and Revit Families folder. I also added the CAD links, which contains my um, 
AutoCAD cleaned up files that we will insert later. So for this projects we will save under Revit Central and then maybe we'll name it as sample project 01 um, for Revit is a version constrained uh, file so a Revit 2017 cannot be opened to a lower version unlike AutoCAD we can save as to lower version if we need to open it in a lower version for Revit it is very specific for for its version once you converted uh, once you converted a Revit project which is this for example is the Revit 2017 and then you you open it to a higher version you will not be able to open it in the Revit 2017 again okay so for that's why in the file naming I really recommend to include the version of your project so for this instance I will name it as v17 for uh, indication that this project is a Revit 2017 project so I won't have um, uh, I won't create a mistake opening this to a Revit 2018 or a Revit 2016 that is not possible so <laughs> by file naming I will know already that this is a version 2017 project so for options we have a backup here which is 3 I'll show you what how Revit backup works in a moment so we'll leave it first as 3 and then I'll click OK then save so now this file is uh, I call this file as individual or independent project file because uh, there's a, another type of file which is called a work sharing file in Revit so it is uh, the multiple user file that everyone can or not everyone but multiple user can use one single file in a, at a time so there you can have a whole team editing a model and you can distribute your work so this file when you have only the normal save which is control s it's a normal uh, independent project file so for an independent project file Revit backup works like this we have saved once already and I set, set up the backup into three maximum backups so when I sa press the save three times Revit will create another three file which will be the backup so save save and then save that's three now we will we will look at the backup or the folder for how the backup works in Revit so now we will check our Revit central folder as you can see from here this is the original file that we save or that that we are working on and Revit created uh, one or that zero 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 one and two and three this is the backup for an individual project or independent project in Revit so if you have a 100 meg file or a 50 50 meg megabyte file so it will multiply into how many backups for your project so if I for this instance I have a 5 MB uh, file so it's with the three backups it's total of 20 MB that's why it's very taxing if you create your project if you create a backup for your projects which about 20 or about 10 that I can see most of the modelers do so uh, for this instance I suggest maximum backups if, you, if you're just the own sole user of that project if it's an individual project project it will uh, I really suggest to do a maximum backup of at most is three so now let's see if I save again twice save save now you will see in the backup the first two backup which is the one and two is gone and it was replaced by the four and five 
because we set the maximum backups to 3 so if you set it to, to 10 it will be continuously 1 2 3 4 5 that is here but since we maximum backups or we set up the maximum backups to 3 Revit will not create another one but will overwrite the other two okay so that would that is how the Revit backup works in uh, in an independent project so next will be how to insert the AutoCAD file in the Revit and um, uh, what's the difference of the link CAD and the import CAD so if you like the content of our lecture series please click the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button to follow our lecture series talk to you soon